Hello everybody, Mediocre Beast is back and today I'm here to review McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman Forever movie figures. Now this one is a Build-A-Figure wave, so you have to buy Batman, Robin, the Riddler and Two-Face. And once you get all four of these figures, you get the separate parts to build Nightmare Bat. And I think this is going to be a really great uh, Build-A-Figure wave, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. On this video, we are just going to take a look at Val Kilmer Batman. So now, from outside, it looks great, the box. Uh, Val Kilmer Batman has this nice shiny paint. He also, he also comes with these accessories and the head of the Nightmare Bat. On the side, you just see the movie logo and the name. On the back, there's just this generic graphic of Nightmare Bat and other figures from the series. Nothing on the other side as well. So overall, the box is good, but we want to crack this thing up and see what's inside. Here is the Val Kilmer Batman out of the packaging and at first glance I'm really liking what I see. It looks great but before we dig deeper into the action figure itself let us take a quick look at the accessories that it comes with. So this Batman right here it comes with a spare pair of hands. So this is his uh, weapon holding hands and he also comes with the default fisted hands on his uh, body. So this is great that we get the spare pair of hands. We also get some weapons of Batman. So we get this small plastic piece of Batarang. It's looking nice. Silver plastic. We have another Batarang that is larger, much larger than the other one. For quick comparison, here is the smaller one and the larger one. So we are getting these two Batarangs. We also do get a grappling gun. Now this movie was kind of like a cartoony, comic, uh, campy kind of movie. So all these weapons, they, they reflect that. <laughs> uh, Batman also comes with his standard DC Multiverse uh, display base. And he also comes with his collector card. So this is a picture from the movie, the Batman. On the back, you can I read the bio if you want to pause the screen. So these are the things that he comes with. In addition, he also comes with the Build-A-Figure pieces for the Nightmare Bat. So he only comes with the head and the head is looking great, I think. You have articulation here near the jaw. So I think it looks really good. It also comes with a display stand for the Nightmare Bat. So this is the stand, it's a metal piece. With, a, with this uh, ball joint kind of thing. And here it goes inside. Uh, I will put a separate video for the Nightmare Bat. So uh, keep on a lookout to watch that video. So yeah, we are getting all these things. Now let's take a closer look at the Batman itself. So here we have the Val Kilmer Batman. And I think the sculpt is done really well. Uh, you can see that the body is uh, made of a shiny plastic or either it's painted on, I'm not sure. But this is this kind of shiny silvery black kind of uh, design going on throughout the body. And there's this shiny uh, paint on the, uh, on the Batman's utility belt as well. There's this gold bat symbol and all the sculpt and the details. I think they look great. Batman has just a plain matte finish. Uh, gloves gauntlet and uh, these are the gauntlets that you see these are uh, made of uh, semi soft plastic and he also has really nice sculpt on his legs and the boots are painted black as well uh, the face I think it came out looking really nice uh, you can definitely see Val Kilmer here they did uh, they did a really good job with the sculpt I think it is done really, really well. 
Uh, one gripe that I have for this figure is the cloth cape because this one is not a wired cape. So I don't see a point of having this cloth cape. I'd rather have, uh, you know, regular rubber cape. That would have been uh, much preferred by me, but that's just me. I think uh, a lot of people might not agree, but because pe people li love the cloth cape. Do let me know in the comments section if you are a cloth cape person or if you're a rubber cape person. Me personally, I would prefer a rubber cape over this one and a wired uh, cloth cape over the rubber uh, cape because I think the best would be a wired cloth cape. But they have a cloth cape here, but it's not wired. Uh, such a shame. On the back, uh, you see the same pain details going on, the shiny black kind of thing. Here's the bat bot, famous from the movie. <laughs> So yeah, overall, I think the details, they look great. Now let's take a look at the articulation for this Val Kilmer Batman. So the head, you can rotate a full 360 degrees. You cannot really look up. The range is very limited, but you can look down a fair bit. You don't have any neck articulation, but you do get the shoulder joints. You can move the arm uh, quite a bit from side to side. You can also ro rotate the arm. You also get a bicep uh, rotation here, so you can move the bicep and you also get elbow articulation. It's a double jointed elbow. The final piece of articulation on the hands is the wrist joint. You can rotate the, uh, rotate the hand and you can also move the hand from side to side. You also get articulation near the torso region. You can crunch quite a bit, so that is very nice. You can go back as well. Uh, the torso, the chest area, you can rotate as well as you can rotate the waist as well. So this is good range. The leg, it can be moved up this much. This is quite a fair bit of range and I think I'm liking it. Uh, the back, you cannot go uh, a lot as compared to the front. Uh, you also get articulation near the knees. You can rotate the knees. Sorry, you can uh, bend the knees and it's a double joint as well. And the final piece of articulation is near the feet. You can move the feet up and down. You can rotate the feet and you also get toe articulation. Let's do some quick measurements. Batman figure over here, it stands about seven and a half inches. Here is the Val Kilmer Batman next to some other Batman from my collection. Uh, all of these are McFarlane figures. So this one is the Dark Knight uh, Returns Batman, the comic book one. This one is the Dark Knight movie, the Dark Knight Trilogy movie Batman. Uh, the latest, uh, the Batman movie Batman, the Robert Pattinson one. This one is the Three Jokers Batman. And this one is the Nightfall uh, Batman vs. Bane 2-pack Batman. As, as you can see, uh, the Val Kilmer Batman, it's not looking too shabby. Right? I think it's looking great, in fact. Uh, the only issue, I would say, is that the cloth cape, it's not wired. It would have been so much better if it had wired cape like this one, the Nightfall 2-pack Batman. It would have made this Batman figure really, really good. Here are all the figures from the Batman Forever movie uh, Build-A-Figure Wave. You see Batman, Robin, uh, the Riddler, and Two-Face, and uh, the assembled Nightmare Bat. And I think overall, they look really good together. All the face sculpt are done really nicely. The body is done really nice. The paint application is done really well. Overall, I'm really liking how they look together. And here's another quick comparison. The Batman Forever movie figures with the Dark Knight trilogy movie figures. So we are near the end of the video. Thank you, you have, if you have made it this far. Uh, so I have shown you the unboxing, the accessories, the articulation, the paint application of the Val Kilmer Batman from the Batman Forever movie. Uh, now it's time to give it a rating. Overall, I think it was a well-made figure. The sculpt was great. The paint application is great. Overall, it looks amazing. The only issue that I had with it was the cloth cape. I would have preferred a wired cloth cape. But other than this minor issue, I think it was well made. It also uh, comes with a fair number of accessories as well. And it's also part of the Build-A-Figure wave, which I like. Uh, so overall, I would like to recommend this. 
So I am going to give this a four out of five stars. Uh, let me know what you think. If you think uh, it deserves uh, this rating, uh, whether you agree with my opinion that it's a well-made figure or whether you think it's bullshit. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And also, I'm a new YouTuber, so do like, subscribe, and put a comment and share my videos. These things really help. I do appreciate when you do that. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one. I'll upload some new videos soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.